When using a public key infrastructure, one must trust at least the root certificate authorities, implying that overall system is centralized. The web of trust was an alternative approach that aimed to solve the same problem in a more decentralized manner. Of course, you should know a few things before studying this web of trust, like certificates, uh, 509 certificate, and other processes like certificate issuance, certificate chain rules, and mechanisms for invoking certificates and others. I will briefly explain this in upcoming videos. To be easier to get access, you will find them uh, via the security playlist. Since all these fundamentals are required by exams like CompTIA or any other security test, we should cover them all. So. There are no certificate authorities in the web of trust that everyone essentially trusts. Instead, the various parties assign each other's public keys, thereby endorsing the public keys association with the person or entity listed in the corresponding certificate. This is accomplished at a key signing party. Oh, not this kind of party. A key signing party is an event where people present their public keys to others along with the proofs of identity such as passports who digitally sign their public key. Each party can also assign a certain level of trust to other parties, which can then be used to construct a more elaborate voting scheme. As you can see here, Alex can assign complete trust to Bill, but only marginal trust to Ross. This means that public keys from certificates that uh, Bill has signed will be automatically trusted. However, to trust the public keys that Ross has signed, these uh, keys must also be signed by other marginally trusted parties. This scheme is flexible and users can adjust these thresholds accordingly. In this way, all the parties form a web of trust. Be sure to subscribe in the coming videos where we'll learn security protocols, public key infrastructure and more.